welcome to Black Cobra. We're excited to be in your neck of the woods. Yeah. We've got a lot of talent in Little Rock. Blake, one of our artists here at Black Cobra, is competing today, so that should oh. be interesting. Oh, representing the home team. I'm Blake Cranford. I've been tattooing for five years. The style I do, it's a mixture of neo-traditional, new school, a little bit of realism. I know there's tattooers in this area with a lot of experience. I don't have that, but I have a lot more talent and just sheer will to win. Oh, there he is. Oh. I am assuming you are Blake. I am. You got some big shoes to fill. You taught me well. We wish you the best of luck. Represent Black Cobra really well. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Good luck, man. Yeah. See you guys see ya. later. You work in such a cool studio under two great artists. Yeah, I'm a young tattooer. Started at like a street shop. Matt saw my drawings and hired me. Uh, learned a lot from all them. How's the tattoo scene here in Little Rock? Kind of old school. For a long time, shops had like weird rivalries and like wouldn't talk to each other. It's serious around here. So it's not necessarily yeah. a friendly sort of tattoo scene. It's crazy ass old tattooer dudes. My name's Chris Thomas. I've been tattooing 20 years. I specialize in high contrast, black and gray. If you tattoo in Little Rock, you know of Chris Thomas. And if you don't, it's time you knew. Well, this is gonna be interesting today. It's always juicy when it's personal, you know? Hey. Hello, ladies. How's it going? How are y'all doing? Oh, what's up, man? What's up, dude? You know this guy? No, he doesn't know me. I don't know you, I just know who you are. Matt used to work for him. He walked out of my door and opened this place. So you're coming in heated already. As soon as someone spawns a shot from my studio that's in the same area, you're taking food out of my mouth. At the end of the day, this is how I feed my family and take care of everything. We're not splitting hairs here. I'm tired of splitting hairs. My name is Nick Pierce, and I've been tattooing for eight years. I'm the best photorealism artist in Central Arkansas. Being a tattoo artist and being a Christian, I am different from anybody else. I'm not in the normal, if there is a normal in, in the industry. This is already interesting as it is, but we have even one more competitor coming in. Oh, there he is, Little Lamb. I'm here. Little Lamb? Oh, I just called him that when he worked at my shop. <gasps> oh, worked past tense? Yeah, I was just busier than he was, and so I thought it was time to step out and do my own thing. He already had it planned, but he didn't want to tell the boss. He packed up my stuff by the door, had it ready for me. Today seems like it's kind of personal. I'd say it's a little bit personal. Like, let's tattoo. All right, you guys ready to get this started? I'm ready. Hell yeah. Let's do it. There's gonna be two elimination tattoos, and one person's gonna be eliminated each round. Sick. Whoever can survive all of this madness and makes it to the end faces off against one of us, and if you can beat one of us, you get a spot on Ink Master and a shot at $100,000. What's up? That's it, that's it. That's what we're here for. Wait till you hear this part. The angel that you have to face off against is... Kelly Doty. Hi. Surprise. Hey, you guys, I spend a lot of time indoors, basically just honing my craft. I don't know if that's intimidating, but it's all I have. Good luck. It's going to be a good one to go against, for uh, sure. Yeah. I'm stoked on it. Well, we're bringing the competition to you guys. You know, your town actually got its name after a small rock formation on the Arkansas River. But another little rock that Arkansas is known for is diamonds. Diamonds are actually the state gem of Arkansas. You guys are gonna have two hours to tattoo any style as long as it's diamonds. Woo, it's diamonds. gonna be yeah. tough. Lots of straight lines, lots of angles, lots of highlights. Lots of light. Your canvases have been randomly assigned and they are completely open. Sweet. And as always, we are going to be judging on very technical criteria. Style, shading, outline, and overall application. I know you guys seem confident, but at the end of the day, one person is gonna be eliminated. Somebody looks a little nervous. I'm in my shop, I'm fine. There's a lot of facets to this competition, and this is gonna be a hard one to see which one of you shines the brightest. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, get set up and we'll send in your canvases. Right. Awesome. Good luck, guys. All right, guys, you have two hours to tattoo diamonds in any style, and your time starts now. Put the stencil on you. Tattooing a diamond is literally tattooing an optical illusion. We want to see that perfect geometry. The light source, the shadows. That cool? Yeah. 
We want to see those clean, crisp lines. It's going to look really good right there. I want you to convince me that what I'm looking at is a diamond. There you go. You'd be good. You make some nice lines and win some Pulling out some tricks over here. What's going on? A little bit of realism, a little bit of neo-traditional to show a little versatility. My biggest distraction right now is Chris. He taught me a lot of great things, but there was another side that was extreme, constant tension in the shop. I just couldn't take it anymore. Too high. Being a Christian, my faith is important to me, uh, not only on a personal level, but I want to set a good example for my kids, how to work hard and go for your dreams. <laughs> Since there was a little bit of a rivalry happening, are you more motivated to surpass Chris? Absolutely. I think that's everybody's goal. Everyone wants to surpass Chris. That's not a bad position to be in. No. You got some good going on. You don't on. think, I didn't earn that yesterday. It's taken <laughs> a long damn time. Speedy McGee's over here. I just want it to look like a piece of art and make it hold up. I know I can do one hell of a diamond. This is my time. I'm here to crush the It's cold. <laughs> it is cold. It's a cold day by the river. To have someone like my wife, Joy, beside me, she's like the voice of reason. Playtime. Time to run. Don't mind all the other dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his spike. I'm just an asshole. I'm just crazy. I'm just, a, I'm just who I am. Why well, you gotta act like me? All right, you guys, 30 minutes left. I don't think Blake's gonna get done. I think he's asleep. <laughs> Losing to both these guys would be super embarrassing to me, honestly. I feel like I'm better than them. If I win this, I am one step closer to going up against one of my idols and tattooing against Kelly which is like a dream come true. All right, kick this one off again. Watch the master. Oh. When I first started tattooing, my parents were not into it at all. My mom asked me multiple times if I would go get a real job. I'm going for these easy ones. If I win this competition, this would make it seem to my parents that I have chosen the right path and that this is what I should be doing. You lose, you lose, buddy. For somebody that's so good with their hands, you're not very good at this game. Got it. Made it. It's like it looks my favorite ass. diamond tattoo I've ever done. That was a little bit of an unexpected turnout. I'm just going to say it. Blake blew him out of the water. That top open area of the diamond is so smooth with that gradient from gray to white. It looks like he used a ruler to make some of those lines. Meanwhile, when I look at Chris's, it's hard to tell what it is from far away. The first thing that's distracting me from anything else is that swirly background. But I love that soft pepper shading in there. At least he made an attempt at a really dynamic diamond rather than a very stiff, classic, here's a diamond-shaped diamond like Nick did. I have no problems with the application that Nick showed us today. His line work is beautiful. His color is perfectly saturated. But would pearls and beads defy gravity sitting on top of a diamond? I don't know about that. They both just made wackadoodle choices. This guy decided he was going to do a two-hour tattoo with 35 damn circles in them. I feel like I stepped outside the It ain't about stepping norm. out the box. I ain't trying to do tricks, man. I'm trying to make a complete piece that looks good, stands off the damn skin, and everybody can tell what the it is. Not just some bull with your 10 tricks. That's all you got. It's 10 different tricks, bro. You got an ant farm at the bottom of that mother It definitely sounds like this is a little more personal than just this competition. It is. To be honest with you, we think three good tattoos were done today, but there was a pretty clear winner for today's challenge. Crystal clear. The person that wins today's elimination tattoo is... Blake. Yes. Hell yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> That line work, the gradients that you had in your shading, the softness in the flower, it's killer, man. Thank you.
being a young tattooer and beating a guy that's been tattooing 20 years and another guy that's been tattooing longer than me as well is super impressive. If that's what you choose, that's what it is. You know, I, I mean, agree. you seem a little salty about it. I'm not like, salty about it. I just think I did the most cohesive tattoo out there. You picked probably the most beautiful angle of the diamond to showcase. It looked like you attempted realism in the diamond, and the background became something completely different, and it was distracting. I think he played it way more safe trying to do all these tricks. He's trying to make y'all like, we, we, it ain't about tricks. I didn't just do a diamond. I've made it flow with the part of the body. It was more of a feminine piece. You did awesome work on that blue rendering of that diamond, but those little pearls could have really used a solid outline around them. They just look kind of weak. I did take more risks, which I probably shouldn't have. The interesting thing that puts you both in this rather precarious position right now is your choices. One of you will be eliminated today. The artist that's gonna be eliminated today is 